Cambodia is the third country we visited in Southeast Asia. Just arrived in Cambodia. Got to pay $35 for a visa on arrival. Then you go through immigration and you get this for one month. It takes a page out of your passport, but you're good to go. And we're super excited to see Cambodia. There are around 17 million people who live here and 95% of them are from the Khmer ethnic group with 97% of the people practicing Buddhism. Henry, where are we? We're at the top of Hyatt Hotel on in Cambodia. Wow. Well, we wanted to see some good night views and get a little drink. And you got a pina colada. Yeah. The Phnom Penh Royal Palace is nestled in the heart of Cambodia's capital. It was built in the 19th century and serves as the official residence of the King of Cambodia and a symbol of the nation's sovereignty. The architecture is a mixture of Khmer and French architectural styles. We did get a section we could go into and you have some pottery, some of the clothing. Beautiful building, but we can't go in this one either. Kind of blocked off here and blocked off there. Try another building. A lot of the palace was under construction when we visited, but it was still stunning. It's not too crowded for a Wednesday. This is a replica of Angkor Wat, which we will see another day. Silver Pagoda, located within the palace grounds, houses a priceless collection of Buddha statues adorned with precious gems. Lucas and Henry do not always appreciate the temples and palaces we visit, but they are good sports about it. Day two was tough. We did a morning tour of the Tol Slang Genocide Museum and the Chiang Ek Genocidal Center. These places are poignant reminders of Cambodia's tragic past, particularly during the Khmer Rogue regime from 1975 to 1979. Tol Slang, formerly a high school, was transformed into Security Prison 21, a notorious torture and execution center. The museum now preserves the haunting testimonies of the countless lives lost within its walls displaying photographs, prison cells, and the chilling instruments of torture. The genocide committed by Pol Pot and his army in the late 1970s in Cambodia is not something Judy or I learned about in school. He was a ruthless leader. An estimated three million people were murdered or displaced during this time. The goal behind this horrendous atrocity was to remove intellectuals, monks, people who looked different, the museum serve as a vital tool for educating future generations about the importance of human rights and consequences of unchecked power. It's a somber yet essential pilgrimage for our family as we try to instill the values of compassion and justice in Lucas and Henry. We're in a tick tick. And up there, four of us, snug as a bug in a rug. It's 4.30 in the morning and we are going to do a sunrise on Angkor Wat. A visit to Siem Reap is not complete without going to Angkor Wat. The temple was originally constructed as a Hindu temple. During the 12th century, it was transformed into a Buddhist temple. You encountered Wild Michael. Dexter uses slap. There are many conservation and restoration projects at Angkor Wat. We woke up at 4 a.m. and arrived at Angkor Wat before sunrise. Sok, our guide, took us to the back of the main temple first, away from the crowds who were gathered to watch the sunrise. It was a perfect way to arrive at Angkor Wat. We toured the grounds of Angkor Wat for almost six hours. Writings all the way down, and the most amazing part is no picture or scene is the same. Like a lot of the ones in Egypt were, but every scenario is different. There are so many different amazing areas to visit.
There's the gas station. So the gas stations are not a monopoly. There are multiple ones. So there is competitive pricing. No one. Oh, that means it's fresh. Look, <laughs> they it's one where it's like very yeah. My dad's yeah. 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 growing right top of the roof and then pull the roof down and the root. Whoa, what a root system. I didn't know this was good. Yeah. A big dad, you're not the pulling. Yeah. Stegosaurus. Who would have known? They would have known. As we can say, this is the car with the daylight. Look at the bottom part. Right, we're in the Russian market. And we're just kind of walking around, seeing what it has to offer. There's so much stuff here. How did Henry find someone to do his work for him? We visited Var, the Cambodian circus. We saw an exciting show full of music, dance, acrobatics, and circus skills. Var was created in the aftermath of the genocide, which targeted artistic people, dancers, and musicians. It provides an education and creates an outlet for young people interested in the arts. Next we visited Opapa. It's an organization working to clear Cambodia of landmines left over the years from conflicts. Opapa uses African pouch rats to help detect buried TNT. The rats are nicknamed hero rats and they are loved and respected by their handlers. The rats can detect mines much faster than humans with metal detectors. They can clear the field the size of a tennis court in 30 minutes when it would take people four days to clear the same amount of land. The rats work for about five years and then spend their final years being pampered in retirement. We spent two days with Sok, a guide we met through our other world schooling friends. He took us to a Buddhist monk blessing. All we knew before we went was that it involved water. We started in a temple with a monk placing red bands on our wrists as a sign of good luck and protection. We then sat on the steps outside while the monk doused us with water repeatedly. It was an unforgettable experience. None of us minded the cool water on such a hot day. Watching the sunset.
and the cows and the Cambodian beer and the sunset. The sunset, Cambodian beer, friends, the cows. Everyone's coming to see the sunset. The Cambodian people are nice and welcoming. The food is delicious. The historical sites and landscapes are breathtaking. We will put Siem Reap on our list of places to go back and visit. He just likes us. Who doesn't? Yeah, buddy. Just one month ago. Siem Reap International Airport just opened one month ago. We're going to Chiang Mai. Ah, see our fam family friends. All right. Nice fake palm trees, good architecture. Look at that. Like, subscribe, and follow us. But first, I have to get my free massage in the lounge before starting to play pickleball in Chiang Mai. Stay tuned.